School administrators and teachers want everyone else to be masked to protect themselves because they took too many trips to Wendy's. What exactly is his point here? I'm assuming that he's going to fat shame people and because people are overweight and thus more susceptible to COVID-19, long, co long COVID, um, more complications due to COVID-19, he's mad at them because we have to wear masks to protect them. That's what I'm assuming is going to be his argument. Perhaps it's a little bit more nuanced, but we're talking about Charlie Kirk here. So I wouldn't hold uh, my breath here, but let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say in Cut 37, saying how children have to choose between masking or foggy glasses, impeding their learning, and how masks aren't worn prop. Oh, please. I, listen, I have a mask, and we're, we're pausing in it like two seconds in, 10 seconds in actuality. But um, look, I, I, I have glasses, and when I wear masks, it does fog up. It is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. This is a temporary measure. We'll do this for a little bit just to, you know, get through the pandemic, although it seems like people are already preemptively declaring victory in COVID-19 or, or perhaps admitting defeat and just letting it um, wash through the country. But either way, uh, I'll, I'll try not to pause it. I, I'm so bad at this, so I apologize, folks. Really most of the time anyway, it's also creating subjects, not citizens. A generation. How? Similar, and I will use a comparison here that will definitely get some headlines. <laughs> and then everyone just kind of stares. It's exactly how children are raised in North Korea. They don't know freedom and liberty. They do it. He goes straight to North Korea. I'm honestly impressed that he didn't cite Nazi Germany. Honestly, I, I thought he was going to go there, but he went to North Korea. Yes, folks, wearing a piece of cloth over your face is definitely comparable to North Korea. Do you know what it's like to live in North Korea, Charlie Kirk? You dumb motherfucker. If you criticize the government there, they will execute you, literally, They'll fucking execute you. So he, he's sitting here criticizing the government, saying, oh, this is like North Korea. No, you don't know what that's like. Thank you so much, Oddhead. Love you too. He is so hyperbolic, and I feel like he's got to know he's being a little bit of an exaggerator here. But, I mean, it's Charlie Kirk. So, again, I don't necessarily expect the most cogent arguments or persuasive arguments. But, uh, yeah. Told. Yemeni Park, when she joined both Joe Rogan and Dennis Prager, a North Korean defector, she said, I didn't even know how to think for myself. Thinking for 10 minutes was exhausting. I had to take a nap. If you condition a generation to not be self-reliant, to not even have their own identity, it creates an entire generation. Hey, Emo Dragon, nice to see you. They're told regardless of the circumstances. Play cut 37. It's, I mean, that's, and it's very common. I mean, that's, I hear constantly kids have to choose between seeing or, or not. I mean, and they have to follow the rules. So half the time, I think masks are not being worn properly anyway. They're pulling them down. Um, but it, it just, it, it doesn't make sense to choose between their vision or masking. And, and what? Because their glasses get foggy when they're wearing masks, it's literally blinding. I mean, listen, if I'm driving in the dark, um, I could see how that would be an issue. But I mean, I'm not going to wear my mask when I'm driving. But when I you know, get into the store and get into my car and my glasses are fogged up, sure, it's an issue. But I'm going to take off the mask. I mean, I, I just these people are so unrealistic, so hyperbolic. CT mother rips dehumanizing school mask mandates. How are they dehumanizing? We all have to do it. These people are such snowflakes. Again, what is this for? You're not going to get a clip. For the pandemic, you dumb motherfucker. What else is it for? Are we, just wear are we just wearing masks because they're fun? These people honestly think that we love the pandemic and we love masks. And the reason why there's these mask mandates is because these insufferable liberals literally just want everyone to wear masks. It's not that people are doing it because they, f they know that this is a necessity. No, we love wearing masks. When you see libs in the store, they're fucking sitting there just happy as clams with their fucking masks on. These people are so ridiculous um i was watching uh some more news and they did the it's cover it's uh covid is over party or something to that effect and they were talking about bill maher being done with covid and um cody made the great point that is obvious but he's like listen literally everybody wants this to be over it's not like there are some people that are enjoying the pandemic nobody likes this but these people are so stupid they're so 
you know, uh, wrapped up in their own world that they think that everything kind of revolves around them and they can't contemplate people doing something for other people, me wearing a mask for other people. So, you know, I protect them. Uh, it's just <laughs> so ridiculous. Their answer on that. But it's also for this. It's also for adults that are obese and have not made good decisions and are super afraid of getting sick. So they want to mask kids to try to make themselves feel better about it. They're okay. It's also for elderly people, immunocompromised people. I mean, are, are we supposed to be against protecting people in society who are vulnerable? Or are we just supposed to say, fuck it, let's let's cough on them uh, because they made bad des decisions? I mean, what is the point of this? Are you suggesting that we shouldn't look out for people who are disadvantaged or look out for people with health issues? Nobody makes perfect health decisions. Perhaps, you know, you may not be obese, but maybe you smoke. Maybe you don't exercise. I mean, nobody is perfect here. So, you know, just simply being skinny or not overweight doesn't mean that you've made, you know, good health decisions. I mean, either way, do, should we just fucking let them die? I just, like, conservatives are so cruel. The hu there's a huge component of this. Of parents, not just parents, let me put that aside. Let's say administrators and teachers that do not take care of themselves and they're super afraid of getting a trans so they want everyone else to be masked to protect themselves because they took too many trips to wendy's what a dickhead it's a pandemic it's a fucking pandemic nobody is proposing that we just wear masks perpetually nobody's saying that nobody wants to do that but during a pandemic when you have a highly transmissible uh, disease it's a good thing to wear masks to protect people even if, you know, you're not vulnerable or susceptible to long COVID or a serious illness due to COVID-19, I mean, don't you just not want to get sick? I mean, what a dickhead. Destroy the kid's life so you can feel better about yourself. What do we have next? And this motherfucker eats at Wendy's. You eat fast food. Don't act like you're better than anyone else. So ridiculous. God, conservatives are the most selfish petulant people on the planet.